Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, today I'm going to talk about my Vim journey and why you should use it. Alright, so to begin, I need to start the story with the first time I learned programming. Now that this is during COVID in May 2020, I was, I was in lockdown all alone and you know, I opened YouTube and learned programming. Now, the first step in this journey is the turmoil. I have no idea what is an IDE. Now, when I first learned programming, I learned it in Python. So I used PyCharm and I didn't know what it does. I don't know what an IDE was and or what it can do. I just used it. I have no idea what compiling or interpreting means or that little green play button meant. I have no idea what that does. All I know is that that button will make my code run. And later on, you know, I progressed and I move to this editor and I will be referring to this editor as that editor in a video on um, family, friendly, family friendly channel. Don't want to mention about it, don't want to talk about it. All right, so now we are six, we're three to six months into programming and I kind of forgot when I, when I learned that editor. At this point, I, at this point in my career, or like, you know, my learning journey, I have been pretty comfortable coding in this, this editor. I knew plugins in it, I knew, I knew some keyboard shortcuts, and I have some idea on how to run code, or what compiling or interpreter means by that time. I was pretty comfortable with it, you know, and life was good. I was learning programming, and it was fun. And then, I do remember experiencing Vim, sometime in the past, but it, I put it in quotes because I only use Vin Motions in VS Code. I think I stumbled upon some YouTube videos on the internet and just decided to install and try it out. People say it will make it very, very fast, so I just installed it. And at that time, I have no idea what the difference between Vim and Vim Motion was. So I kind of used it, I kind of didn't. So I, yeah, you take that how you will. And then what happened from there was I have no idea how to use it. I'm struggling with inserting text. What did I do? Did I learn? Nah, bro. I uninstalled. And the struggle continued. Um, I'm pretty sure I opened Vim at some point in this time, like the actual editor of Vim. But still, I have no idea what I was doing. I have no idea how to quit, probably. And I probably enter insert mode by accident. And I just installed the Vim extension from there. But I also uninstalled after using it because I have no idea what, what I was doing. I have no idea what how to use HLJK. I was using arrow keys, no idea how to insert or any of that. And I kind of forgot about it. Um, after COVID and stuff, I went back to school. School is all normal now. And I'm in my final year of high school in grade 12. And they didn't do much programming. Kind of just forgot about the existence of Vim. You know, but still I had that editor, that editor installed. Just for the occasional programming and, you know, capstone projects or whatever. So I, at that point I was still using that editor. And now, after high school passed, here comes the stage of the ignition, where all the history begins itself. This is the first year of university, and I started programming every single day. Uh, sorry, wrong slide. I started programming every single day. I was struggling so hard, in fact. I was going to office hours for the first week of class. You know, fresh out of high school, no idea what I was doing. I was struggling hard, 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 hard. You know, and then I went to the TA and I saw him editing code in the terminal using Vim. And I was like, wait a minute, I know the editor. Is there, are you using Vim? I said. And all, and all I remember from that week was pure amazement. He was at, it was like the speed that they were editing was so fast, so hacker-like, I told myself, bruh, I used the Borak for God's goodness sake, I should probably maximize my nerdiness, and I knew at that point I have to get back into using Vim. 
So, here we go again. I started using Vim in a terminal, I learned what VimRC was, and I was using cheat sheet to help myself, guide myself to, to know what to do next. For example, how to exit insert mode, what does visual mode mean, what is copying, yanking, pasting, cutting, whatever. I was using cheat sheets for that. Um, and at the end, it was, it was a bit too much. Again, it was very, it was, it was too much again. I don't remember what the reason was. I probably just missed all the good features about, you know, that editor. So I went back to that editor and, you know, it was, it was probably, it was probably the highlighting code completion and code intelligence and stuff like that. I miss having an IDE. When I first used, started using Vim, it was just a text editor. It has some basic features like, you know, indentation tabs, even that kind of sucked. Um, no highlighting, no highlighting, no auto completion. And for a beginner programmer, that was pretty, 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 pretty bad. So I, I went back to the, that editor, sorry, almost, almost, sorry, that editor with the Vim extension again. And then this time I set out to have a different sort of journey. Now with the power of cheat sheets, um, it finally kept me going. You know, there was a problem here, here and there, like using the arrow key. Um, I, was, I was using the arrow key at the beginning instead of using the HLJK because it was just unintuitive to me. So I was using the arrow keys to move around text, which I didn't like. Um, and I think I solved this feature by unbinding the arrow key. I don't really remember, but I do remember very, trying very, very hard to not use the arrow key. Um, but anyways, the most important thing is I stuck with using the motion this time around. So maybe after the 420th time, I'll finally get it. Maybe not. Okay. Now, the sort of the rising action, the move, the move towards PDE was... It began when I started watching YouTube. I discovered the Vimogen, the world record -ogen, um, and, oh, oops, sorry. Vimogen, the world record -ogen, the react -ogen, the motivation -ogen, um, AKA the one and only, the CEO of the startup, uh, Primogen. So I, at this point, I realized who Prime was, and this is, this is when I, I moved to NeoVim, when I discovered Prime. Um, I felt comfortable enough, when I was, and then I was craving for more speed, uh, for more nerdiness. And shortly after becoming a full Vim user, I moved to NeoVim, and then I had my first configuration. And this is the beginning of my personalized development environment. Um, and then I discovered this PDE because I discovered more awesome people, namely TJ and Chris on Machines. But before, before then, I have no idea what a PDE, PDE meant. It was after watching TJ uh, that I learned that, oh, I was building this thing called PDE instead of an IDE. And it was, it brought me a lot of fun and a lot of speed when I was customizing every little part of the editor that I was using. I have so many shortcuts for running code, compiling code, compiling markdown to PDF when I was still using that note-taking method. There was just a lot of key bindings that were, that were my own that no one else could have used except me because I customized it line by line in the configuration. And my knowledge about everything just expanded very fast upon joining this awesome new event community. Uh, now the classic end of a story, the cliffhanger, which brings me to uh, the today, today, today. Um, I was I was having so much fun editing code. My speed started to grow, and I gathered so much knowledge about just general, you know, developer workflow, standard tools that you can use like grep. Uh, what else? Namely, 
don't know, uh, window managers, uh, Tmux, uh, thought, like messing of thought files, editing your terminal, Kitty, um, Alacrity, and so much more. And having a formal breakup with the mouse. And now today, my NeoVim knowledge is still growing. I'm still learning little by little every single day. And I feel like I have come so far in the journey, yet I have traveled so little. Anyways, this video is getting a bit too long. I'm very sorry. Maybe we can make a part two, uh, to the, the, the sequel to this. But yeah, but if you want to check out more about my PE journey, you can look at my dot files. I, I'll link it in the description. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for thank you so much for listening and watching. And hope you enjoyed. I hope you I have inspired to use use Vim like my tutor did to me. And yeah, thanks for watching YouTube. Peace!